Welcome back to Blender 311 In this episode, I want to show you a couple of new nodes that's coming with Blender 3.1. It is still alpha, but I will be, I will be showing you a couple of things. Um, while doing that, I will be doing some improvisations as well. So let's get started. So when you are new with geometry nodes and you want to create a new mesh, you usually find it here under mesh primitive and lots of new nodes actually under mesh operators which is all of this the new one that i'll be using is the scale elements and also flip face that's really cool one so let's try with mesh primitive like uh, like a grid so this is the default cube original geometry we're gonna replace it with the grid right so we have the new grid i want i want to increase the subdivisions you cannot see the subdivisions unless you turn on the wireframe okay so let's save this very quickly so this is a quick demo and you probably want to see the face orientation uh, in this case so it's blue so I want to demonstrate uh, that you you can now use this mesh flip face drop it there so the, the whole face is flipped Okay, so that's a interesting one, right? Not so useful unless you have like a lot of uh, face and you want to flip it. For, for today, we will be using just a random value with random value set to integer and between zero and one, you can plug this into the selections. And now we have like a random face that some of them are flipped, some of them are not flipped. With the things like random value, if you want to see the, the actual value, you can use the spreadsheet and then control shift click, control shift click on the random value. And then you, you also need to have the geometry. Now we have like this viewer zero, one and zero. You can tell which face with polygon face is flip, which one is not. Okay. So that's a uh, really important. Now with this guy, because geometry nodes is a modifier, we can do whatever after. For example, we can do like solidify. So you can solidify. This guy is, uh, is totally messy out of whack. In For this example, I will also do like a split edges. This will split all the edges, okay? Now, if we solidify, it seems to be all right, even though it's non-manifold like uh, this surface is really weird non-manifold still it's uh, it's workable we can actually use this with a smooth smooth modifier you can see they're all separated and with smooth modifier you can you can actually go the opposite and they're overlapping now totally non-manifold unless you use like something like a uh, remesh Okay, remesh is really cool also is doing remeshing underneath now even though this surface is like totally pretty bad and non-manifold but this is something that you can use because after remeshing this surface is actually back to normal it's no longer non-manifold it's just like a really really kind of weird surface but you can you can actually use this and you can do like other things um, currently, we don't have extrude face yet, but it's coming. Uh, that node is coming soon. Um, for now, let's get rid of everything again. Back to this one. Uh, we have this. Uh, we we did the split edge. How about if we use scale? Okay, scale elements. This is also quite new. You can scale each element separately. And even if we didn't use split edge, you can kind of scale it. I believe you can use random value. Okay, let's use the same random value. Okay, doesn't work. Split, okay. This one is of course making the value between zero and one. You can, you can remap the value. Now you can see uh, we have like a flip normal face and also flip uh, polygon face and this is 
if you use it with Solidify, you can see, yeah, you can see the result. Because Solidify is, um, is kind of extruding polygon phase based on the normal. That's why we have the smaller one and big one like that. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, let's try something a little bit more fun. Instead of using grid, we can use, of course, like an icosphere. Just replace it. Okay, icosphere. Cool. It's like a triangulated polygon face. Some of them have red color and some of them blue. If you solidify once again, solidify will separate. Uh, do like the opposite. Um, you can use this also with dual mesh. Okay, dual mesh will make triangles, it becomes hexagon. Uh, some people like this surface. Yeah, I think this is also kind of cool. Uh, you can take advantage of this, of course. If you didn't split the edge, you have this face normal that's non-manifold. Some of them will actually extrude the other way around. Perhaps you can also kind of separate by looking at the normal, you can perhaps separate this surface so some of them can be deleted, maybe. Uh, but that's... Uh, you can use delete geometry, so that's also another thing. Instead of using scale element, we can use delete geometry and delete some value using the selections set to face. So this also kind of neat uh, we can also subdivide after this so subdivide we perhaps have been using this um, in the previous episode we can increase the subdivision subdivisions and we have this result all right so don't worry about delete geometry at the moment so just get back we're gonna focus on the maybe like scale elements or split edges let's get rid of this unmute this using m select the nodes and then unmute this is interesting enough right so random value let's save this to make it more interesting let's um, instead of using random let's use noise noise texture so as usual i will be using instead of just 3d i will use 4D so I can animate the texture, the noise. So let's uh, get rid of the random. Now we are back with this. Let's use the noise value to control the scale. By default, we get something like this. Not so interesting. If we use math and then add minus 0.5 and then we use map range, if we are remapping the value, we can get something that's a little bit more interesting. Let's reduce the scale. Now you can see how the noise is kind of traveling around. And while we are using the value to control the polygon phase of this uh, <coughs> icosphere. Okay, so that's uh, that's cool. Let's Let's continue. You can use this with solidify of course so there's uh, some kind of randomness some of polygon phase is being pushed out some being pushed inside because we have uh, I, I think i did use the noise wait wait let's use this map range and then flip the face based on this value plug plug it there so yeah, we should have like uh, some of them going inside, some of them going outside if we use solidify. Okay, so this is what I want. So we can now play around with this noise. We have like a kind of like a planet Earth or some kind of planet. It's being animated by the noise. Okay, cool. 
instead of using the 4D, we can also use positions. With position, you can actually animate the noise in axis. So this is using the X axis, this is using the Y, and this is using, using the Z axis. Maybe you want this type of animation. But you can always animate the in 4D, so it's kind of, it looks like the noise is rotating randomly. So, so that's kind of cool. What else can we do here? So this is controlling the the flipping of the face. This is controlling the the size and scale of the polygon of the of this hexagon. And we can animate. So it's like almost like a like a more graph more graph kind of thing. Let's hide the face orientation. We can use the cavity and or the shadow. The shadow is actually sometimes slowing down the Mac or maybe it's still better, still alpha. Yeah, I think this is pretty cool. And uh, we can remove the wireframe and use the like ambient occlusion. Okay, this is uh, almost almost done. Scale this a little bit. Just animate. Okay, so we have this, and very quickly we can we can reapply this same setup to different object. It should uh, it should work in general. Uh, like okay, we are always using like our own like our own surface, but it's a good idea to always use like a switch. So you can always pipe in the original geometry, and then also at the same time you have your own mesh. So switch is very useful in that case. So you have like a uh, this geometry, so we can also apply this to Suzanne switch into different object and because this is for the texture we want to pipe this also into the group input and the scale maybe we want to also control the scale okay so now we have this result you can animate we can control the noise, so we have like a, some kind of planet again. We can randomize the planet a little bit. This is the original surface before we use Solidify. And in our case, if we like, if we like Suzanne, we can always switch back to Suzanne. You can see the, the noise going through Suzanne and we can always scale the noise with Suzanne. Okay, uh, we can also maybe, um, I reckon, subdivide and decimate that. Actually, remesh and decimate usually is more interesting. So Suzanne. Subdivide and then remesh and then decimate. So this is also this is a one of my favorite combo. It's turning Suzanne into triangles. So in fact, if we go back to our original setup here, with with our switch, let's put the dual mesh over there. And let's uh, put a triangle lid over here. So now we can switch from Suzanne and add a geometry nodes. Okay, this is the result. I think so. We have like a fake, fake type of photonoy. But we can well. 
but we can still animate okay still working and we can switch it to our geo like a earth type of or planet but we also have this uh, really interesting fake for a noise and then ability to scale the noise for Suzanne and, and then we can also use solidify so we have a lot of control here so yeah we have this effect so yeah that's basically that's pretty much it that I want to show you it's a it's a lot of improvisations it's all using the same geometry nodes we can turn this on so it doesn't delete itself this is the final result this one with solidify this one is the original we can control the scale of the noise okay we can perhaps even like use multiple times of this geometry nodes oh okay it's Oh, interesting. It doesn't seem to like this setup too much. Let's uh, increase the noise for this one. So again, you can solidify and you can use this with remesh. You have completely different result with the geometry. This one is totally messed up. Maybe use this with a smooth and then go the opposite way and then solidify and then remesh. I don't know, I kind of like all kind of non manifold geometry. Some of them are really actually quite interesting. Then you can animate the result it's almost like our planet earth okay so yeah this is the result one two three duplicate okay so hopefully you find it useful um thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye